the best odds. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Dafa Esports Powered by Dafabet Visit us at dafabet.com They're looking to do something fast here. Look at all of my stuff. He's sitting there close and pays the ultimate sacrifice. Now Crims though again. XMS is back. Oh, Turn! Crims! Three! Down. Four! Oh, he teaches Lord. us how to count as Go he just eight. knocks them down. That oh. whole beast in the time as well. Still way over towards the suicide steps. The good news is that both these Navi players are stacked together. So Oscar just goes with this dirty peek. Shuts down Flaming with it. And now only Seas is left alive. He's way out in the open. But still able to take the successful duel versus Lowell. So now Oscar to eliminate. And Oscar moving back up. Going to be able to perfectly find Seize. So this works back around, giving Oscar the minimal hitbox to try and fire at. But Oscar's just going to go for this defuse inside of the smoke. It's a full 10 second defuse. We'll see if he can get it. Down to three seconds, though. So there's no way he's going to be able to get this. He completely pinches it inside of the smoke, and then he rolls out to shut down Seize as well. That was a that was, that was battle. Thanks. On, what an adventure we're going on. Hopefully, he gets one. This could be an NRG. One frag away, Naf to four, but he's gonna clutch oh it! Oh my what? god, that transfer. Naf! A truly godlike transfer when he Not needs it. That. From what was the most insane set of rotating. Saving Grace's aim punch. Massive factor, they don't have armor. But look where Kenny has made his way. He's already in through CT. It's Stewie alone in banana with the MP9. They're gonna round the wall. Can't make the show. Oh, he's gonna get the ball. That's, that's really good from Stewie because if. It waited just a second longer. Shocks was going to be yeah. on the back step. I thought it was Kenny Hunt just taking the shocks. This is the same one from the first round. This is a nice bit coming from. Yeah, this is exactly what he's coming around. You want to get up and close to the first one. This is max value if you get that one. Like Kenny's done, it's just so effective. Yeah. Yeah. Good work from him, but. Dennis, he's trying to stay. He's not moving. Yeah. That's just beautiful work. Dennis, that's a oh, round. You've lost the bomb side, you've got a bomb side. This is exactly kind of what you want to do. They just run away and save that all that oh, They just made it a 1v1. Right? And look at this HP on Crimson. One HP each. They have one hit from there. This is the format. This could be sick with a high. 1v1. Crims. he's got a kit, he's got the bomb, but he doesn't know where Steel is. Steel looks like he's kind of. I feel like he's in oh control here, and he is. He finds Crims. Oh, look at the swarm. Here it comes. Three players this time. Oh, the flash! Happy, how are you alive? He doesn't stay alive for long, but he allows RPK to get the feed instead. And that's two block time. And, uh, well, it's round. Oh, oh, oh Cobra. <laughs> what phrases do they Things are being realized. Oh, he's got a really good in the world and a good headshot. That makes that AP even more realistic to cut the color that he comes to his feet. Oh, quick! One left, one versus one, Naf and Config. Naf's only got the Mac 10, but no armor for Config yet. Navi is pushing back in, still with 36 seconds to play with. Great utility usage to the flat thing, once again hinders the Navi push. And Nix was able to utilize that to pick up another kill. He almost had himself a second one, but hit on scope at the wrong timing. Thankfully, he can correct that pretty quickly and move back in to pick up the last two as well. Beautiful stuff from Nix. Back right now, and while he will pull back one kill, still a lot more he needs to do. 20 seconds. Bomb in the connector. Shroud's still in the position to hold onto it. He'll look away. Kenny G, the timing may get the better of him, but he makes it way all the way towards the stairs as he moves on in. There's just nothing left on the site. Low XP, but he's going to catch him off guard. Actually, switch his weapon, and KMG, he's going to do it. Bomb goes down just in the nick of time, and the chase will come through for Shroud. But KMG, he may have just done this one. It's a 1v1. He wins it. KMG, what a clutch for Immortals. He's got a kick, he's gonna try bait Chris in. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't know if he's got it or not. He just barely does. That's incredible. To start it off with what looked like he was just innocently peeking through the vent. Hold on, device. Okay, you start the morning off by calling out Jason. Falling yeah. <laughs> He got it down. down. Burr's got the shot on the Chris J though, so he's set 4-2. Oscar wants to go back in, try and find the shot. Over towards CT, or excuse me, to the upstairs and reconnect with it. Take it over the CT stairs, but unfortunately, give it up to go. 
protect low on the plant, so also the fight is back through the site. Headshot he's looking for that as though Taco down. No stealth was closer. So he swings out to find that kill as well. It's called Zira that has to make sure. Does he get the kills quickly? Chris, they know Thal is somewhere near the ticket booth, so they'll plant safe instead. And the smoke out's gonna limit both he and Cole. Of course. Fallen through the smoke, through the box, Chris J in the head. Yeah, he seems to nail that shot more often than not. It'll be a three on two now. Fallen. 33 HP and Cold Zero as well. The tag team duo has to step up here. Rob's low HP. And they've got the trifecta of doing one in connector, one in A ramp, and the A palm as well. Open plant. CT shouldn't have a chance here about the smoke. Looking for any sort of pick. I think they need to save here. They probably know they can't win this round, but Fallen spotted one. Now's that wow. job. And maybe they do have a shot within this. If they win this based on that shot, to start it off from Fallen, oh, it would be does. ridiculous. He's got it again. Three of the retake. Cold finishes it out. And SK are retaking kicks today. Usually people jump early to the spot behind Generator, but Cold playing a different angle. They've already pushed up middle as well. It's a complete mousetrap. Sitting here now, they might not actually. Screams a little bit confused currently, but he wraps in and he counters out the flank with those two big pickups. Now XMS swings in, finds three right in the open, and Scream with two additional pickups ends up with a massive 4K, destroying the Team Liquid push. Coverage to his advantage here, and really just have to scream nice shots onto Nitro. And Sixer finds the pickup as well, so now he's brought it down to a 1v2. He's gonna realize that Twist is sitting right below, though. Spotted him there, but oh, 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 Twist just walks right into his cross here, so now this is going down to a 1v1. Stanislaw having to clutch this. Now Sixer's been given the room to move up to the site, be able to go for the play, but actually he might just look for the kill. He's gotta react quickly, though, because Stanislaw's here, and he's ready to fight. Wins the initial battle, and he follows through to clutch out the round for Envious. He picks up a map control of the situation and then threw it away due to individual 1v1s going poorly. Now it's all on JDM to clutch this out with a 1v2. Just sitting back right now waiting to see if Envy is going to go for the plant here on the early site. Swing it up top where he can really punish them. And that's slow as finally. Downstairs, hits the up two, spotting with player, hits the shot, just barely escapes. 19 HP still to work with. Take it in another direction, it's going to look like that's going to be the case. Scream going for the full plant. JDM has the time, but he's going to move out right now. Take the shot, and he hits it through the life raft. Hits Scream and takes him. Drops it over there. One in, just hiding inside of the door. So still but he can also frag that spot. Nobody even texts him. Two, three kills before going down, and now Happy tries to. Time here. First trying to get him towards the bomb site. Boost himself up. Ball and strikes first. Takes down a bats. To find on the AWP. They've got two of them, so they have to find them early. Oh, and seems to be missing the second shot on occasion. Problem is, there's no one in the site. They've already cleared with just one kill. Away back in good patience. Just waiting for Ball to find that one. He's got no patience anymore. He'll go hunting. Buddy goes down. Two players as well. B did open up early in the rotation. 12 seconds. They've run out of time once already this game. Taco finds a kill. That's going to be enough because he'll just get in position to plant. But he's low on HP and body. It's the advantage of him planting to get better position from highway. Okay, 47 and body on the barrels will be able to see over top of the box. Gun's not sticking out far enough yet. I'm wondering if body can just barely see it. It's Taco. He's back around. Drop down, makes a noise, Taco's ready for it. Holding the angle, good headshot. Meantime, time, the Elise still hunting through those vents. He's re-secured it with the elimination of AZ. MSL trading out one, but Elise picking up an additional frag, leaving it all into MSL, but he's got these liquid players so low. One down to the grenade, and now all he has to do is eliminate Elise. But he clutched this back out. He's gonna take it oh so slowly, creeping forward, shutting the door to Decon. Shut, Taco going for the defuse, he has coverage. And now he knows his opponent's there, so he'll go in, grab that defuse. Three requests remaining, though. He has to wait for this Molly to fade. Does he have enough time to defuse? I think he should be good. He's gonna come down a little bit to the wire here. He's still gonna be waiting on the outside. He does obviously catch this fast secret play. So they're gonna move in there and try to take that control. And Alcon picks the way. He just spreads. He's in the three. Almost four kills. Swings back downstairs. But oh no, he's out of ammo. He needs a teammate to bail it out. He'll still go down. Stands there for the trade. But Magic Boy has this into a 1v1. Stanislaw has to go for the defuse here. Try to sneak it in. But he still doesn't have a kit. And he's still got the full 10 second defuse to work with. Now Magic can try to lurk his way back in. Find Stan in the open. He's gonna look to shut it down. And he does it with the headshot. Hard turn in here from Nitro, das hier nochmal drehen. Mit Hits erstmal long geschossen. Das kann Elise dann auch so sein. Nochmal gute Hits von Nitro. Elise mit dem nächsten. Die Ansage kommt ein bisschen spät. Jetzt hat Elise die bekommen. Guckt genau die Fische. Der macht den Blind. Der macht den Blind. Und der kriegt sein Ace. Das ist ein Ace von Elise. Aber das 
reicht nicht von der Zeit. Das der kommt durch. Wow. JDM gonna be able to challenge it and he gets the double! Madness and Cajun all dead on the ground and now AZ2 with the lead finding that third kill. Favor. See like Liquid are gonna be able to go very straight forward in this beat bomb and it is spotted by Madness so the rotates are gonna be on the way at any moment here. Madness though picks up that first kill, gets the second before finally going down to JDM. The config though doesn't get anywhere with his position. The lead picks up that kill very quickly and it still leaves Liquid with a man up. After everything has settled, Cajun Vito swinging in through the smoke, he doesn't seem to mind too much. He's already picked up one, he chased the second player into a position where MSL could punish that second one, leaving just the Liege alive here, but he picks up one from the right side, looking for the second player the way, survives that with just 14 HP, and now only one kill to go, looks for it and he grabs